Now these are the backpackers I was talking about. Um, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of backpackers that walk up to Indian Head, uh, from up to the top of Indian Head, right. and um, they travel. They travel in groups. There's no toilets at Indian Head, and uh, there should be. There's toilets at Champagne Pools. Now, as I said in the last video, they don't. They don't. Well, effectively work, but they have to be pumped out. They weren't meant to be pumped out. They were supposed to be like a like a bio environmental type toilet. Up the top there on the left, the vineyard head, a little bit of a bear patch up there, that's where all the, the backpackers go to watch the, the sharks and whales and stingrays and, and tailors swimming around the headland. And the area between Indian Head here and Wadi Point, about 400 metres west of Wadi Point, is uh, a closed season, which is a good idea for tailor during the, the breeding season, so the fish stocks are sustainable. Now this area, of, uh, we're going to go off the beach here in a minute and go around the western side of Indian Head. Um, there's a couple of boarded sections. This first bit here, where we're going to go across, has a board ramp, board and chain ramp. Uh, it's normally pretty good. Quite a few vehicles get bogged about where we are now. This vehicle won't get bogged because it's, uh, it's got a good power to weight ratio. It's a top of the range Land Cruiser. Uh, and the tracks are so good at the moment because of the, follow you know, the recent rain. Uh, but if they're not maintained when it hasn't rained for three or four weeks, there's a lot of cars get bogged. And probably one of the biggest areas they get bogged on the island is just coming up. Um, this wide section through here, not too many people get bogged in this first section. Just go up on, the, on, the, on that left lane there. Jimmy jump over that left track. If your car's coming the other way, they'll, you'll hit them. You'll come up and hit on with them. You can just see this car is struggling a little bit. Um, This is where the cars get bogged, right where we are now. We're just going past the Fraser Island fishing units owned by Cliffy Andreessen. I've stayed there. Great little fishing units. And this is where all the cars get bogged, right here. <clears throat> if they get through to here, that means they've got a, they've had a fairly good run up, um, and quite often is the case that they don't have their tyres let down enough. And uh, some of them get bogged right even on the, on the front here. They don't get very far at all. That's Indian Head. There, and there's one tourist bus there. Sometimes you'll see six or seven tourist buses there. And the back, a lot of backpackers' vehicles will be parked there as well. Um, a lot of vehicles just stop on the, on the yeah, south yeah. side, about 50 metres from, from here. We're going to pull up and just wait for the next vehicle. We're, we're travelling in a group of three and there'll be four of us shortly.